Ah. Every child has nightmares. Mine were always the same. I am running, fleeing from something behind me. Suddenly, I have to stop. Ahead is the end of my way. Sometimes it is the edge of a cliff, a roof, or the top of a tower. Then comes the moment when I fall, endlessly. I scream, I panic, and then I wake up. Years passed and the dream stopped. One day though, dream became reality. Two years ago, my life changed. I was starting with climbing. It was fun to climb a wall. The smooth movement was like dancing. Quick gains made me feel proud. Suddenly, there were people that shared my passion and mindset. Friendships grew where you held one another's life in your hands, literally. For one month, my climbing life was a cloud of happiness and joy. <laughs> but, as with each real relationship, this was just the honeymoon phase. I wanted more. I didn't want to climb the same limes every time I went to the wall, restricted by the top road put in place. I wanted to know what real rock was like. For all this, I needed to learn how to lead a route. The sharp end called to me. A whole new world was opened up. I could climb wherever I wanted, limited only by my abilities and no longer by the length of my rope dangling from the top of the route. It was around this time when I was introduced to the dark side of climbing. My first glimpse was a woman at the wall who told me she'd broken her back falling off a boulder. At that point in time I didn't boulder, so dismissed it as irrelevant for me. The second encounter was slapped violently into my face. We were trad climbing on the looming gritstone bulk of Higa Tor. I belayed my climbing partner Adam on the rasp, a notorious E2 that I stood no chance of seconding. He climbed explosively through the steep terrain, determined to claim the onsite. Suddenly he slipped, ripped his gear and decked onto his back from 9 meters. I only realized what it had done to me the next time I climbed. I had never thought about falling, although honestly I had never really fallen. All the routes I had done were well within my abilities. When I had a problem, I stopped at a clip. I wanted to push my grade and for that I needed to take the risk of falling. I didn't want to. My childhood nightmares kicked in, my head confronting me with everything that could go wrong. With every move I fought against my own mind. How to solve it? I did what everybody told me to do. Fall training. It didn't help. Each fall brought a terrible surge of fear as I plummeted into open air. I started to boulder more in order to get stronger and improve my technique. But here it was again. Falling off a boulder or having to jump off the top was terrible. With time I pushed through this. Lead climbing never got better. I climbed more outdoors. I wanted to be better. I wanted to go to amazing exposed places. Try as I might, every time I did so, I ended up as a shivering pile of nerves at the bottom of the route, or covering my face on the belay of a multi-pitch. Falling and exposure are the same. I start to shake, I feel ill, I can't think, sometimes I cry. I look at the videos of the pro climbers talking about getting in the zone, and pushing through fear, and I don't know what they are talking of. Fear is the weight that pulls me down 
and digs into me with tiny claws every time I tie into the rope. I love climbing. The movement is wonderful. When I climb, I feel free, powerful and happy. That is, until the fear comes back. <laughs> This should have been the end of my story. That was the plan. But suddenly, something magical happened. When you want to make a film about fear, you have to fall. A lot. I was forced to do it over and over again and hated every moment. Sometimes I couldn't even bring myself to do it. Nothing had changed. A few weeks later, I was out climbing with friends. I had a goal set. I wanted to get as far as I could, no matter how I felt. It took me two routes until I realized that I wasn't scared. No matter how hard the move was, no matter where the clip was, my head was silent. No fear, no panic, just flow. It doesn't always work. Some days I struggle, but each time it comes easier. It seems that I finally learned the hard lesson. There is no easy solution. Ali, come on. Keep trying, keep pushing, be afraid, cry and scream. Find a reason to fall. Maybe do a competition or make a bet with your friends to never shout, take. Buy yourself your favorite food every time you take a fall. One day, you'll learn to shut it out. Then comes the moment everyone talks about. The rock will be your friend. It will show you its possibilities. It will challenge you. It will make you fall and then it will catch you. Climbing is not just movement up a wall. It's a relationship with the rock, with nature and yourself. Climbing is joy. Every time you touch the rock, it is the same and it is totally different. You come home to an endlessly shifting environment where you can truly be yourself. The rock won't judge you. Be scared or be happy. Relax or dance with joy. Outside your head, the world comes to a halt and it is only the moment that counts. Go out and find the possibilities and the adventure. And when the time comes, when you overcome your fear, you don't fall anymore, you fly. <laughs>